My name is Kim. I'm 44 and I'm an optometric tech. I am single now. I have been married twice. And yes, I would say I'm a hoarder. I can't throw things out. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and that away and that definitely doesn't happen. I'm Shelby and Kim is my mom. My mom is definitely a hoarder. She's almost like an obsessive hoarder with cups, receipts, paper. Kinda looks like a dumpster in there. When you walk into the apartment, you'll see a huge amount of trash on top of something that used to be the couch. Mom's kitchen looks like something you would see out of like an American horror film, but worse. My bedroom, I don't even use anymore because I got a bunch of stuff on the floor. So I go into my daughter's bedroom and just kind of sleep on the floor by the heater. I do worry about my mom when she does sleep so close to the heater, or just having the amount of papers and napkins and cups that she has. Something's gonna catch on fire or she's gonna die in here and I'm really surprised either situation has not happened yet. When I was little, she was a different person. She actually did clean and cook and take great care of me and my brother. My name's Doug and my mother's Kim. Years ago, when we were living with my father, I do have small memories, but the house was clean. But then something happened to her that we do not know about, to where it's causing her not to throw away anything. I have some secrets that I've never shared with anybody, except in therapy. I don't really plan on telling anybody anything, probably because it's upsetting. I always kept a lot of stuff to myself, but after that, I know I was depressed, kind of withdrew. That's when I started acquiring things, more of the papers, the bedroom starting to get cluttered. Because of the depression, I ended up having an affair. Me and my first husband got divorced because of the affair partially and that I couldn't keep a clean house. This hoarding has ruined my life. It's the reason why I am living by myself, that I don't have a boyfriend, that I don't have a husband. There's times that I wish that I would just go to sleep and not wake up, that I wish I could die. Good morning, Shelby. Good morning. Where's your mom? Sleeping. All right, can we get in and wake her up so we can get this going? We got a yeah. lot to do today. My name's Corey Chalmers. I'm an extreme cleaner that specializes in hoarding and biohazard. Kim is asleep. Yes. You know, that is not a good start to the day. She's obviously either been up all night stressed out about this. Hey, you ready? Or she's just shut off completely and she's gonna try to avoid it. Well, good morning. We got a lot to do today, Kim. We need you up. Why are you agitated? Probably just my nerves. She's extremely agitated already. You haven't even done anything, touched anything, said anything. So this probably isn't going to go real well. It's like something plastic is melting. The last thing I want in here is a fire. Yeah. All right, the fireman in me wants to make sure I'm not going to burn up. <laughs> it was just this plastic melting right here. We did find uh, plastic that had been pushed against the heater. This is a real concern in a hoarding environment. This is a multi-unit building. If she gets a fire in here, she might die, but the people above her might too. Trash bag is right okay. here, and that box over there it can be used for a okay. keep box, yeah. All right. for the keep items. There's so much mail in here, Mom. You've not thrown a single thing away in a very long time. Honestly, if she used to go through every little piece of mail, would not be able to get this done because there's so much paper, so much garbage. Put it in there. Is that keeping? That's getting rid of. 
You don't need to keep receipts. Unopened. You do not need receipts, keep. Mom. You're okay. My mom's more comfortable recycling items, and she is just throwing them out. Actually, I can keep this. That's why I rinsed it out, because I took Mom, it to work. Mom, why are you keeping a plastic container? Because it's clean. Nothing about this place is clean right now. I know, but I got it not too long ago. I don't care. You can come over and get new stuff from my place that's been washed and bleached. I'm all for, you know, recycling, but... A good deal of it is just rotten or open food that we don't feel like it's safe because everything's past its expiration date. These, These are, are expired. Sundered. These oh, are expired. Don't eat them, Mom. Please don't eat them. If they're expired, don't eat them. It's pretty common that people who are struggling with hoarding disorder... What is that? It's nothing. It's goop. ...to kind of lose track of expiration dates, and this is exactly what happened. Is this thing here? the only bag that's full so far? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. These trucks have been sitting here waiting for this moment. <laughs> Two, three. Good morning. Hello. We need to get started today. Yeah, I know. So here's our second day here, and again we find Kim sleeping. This is obviously a bad habit for her. How are you feeling after yesterday? I feel mentally and physically tired and drained. We need to yeah. get you up and start working. No matter how I feel inside about what my children had to go through when they're dealing with their mother, just being a human being, I thought it was pretty good for me to help their mother out. I'm tired. I don't feel like talking. I've been periodically checking in with Kim about revealing to her family these secrets that she's been carrying around. And I really believe it's time that she start to open up and share with them some of the things that have contributed to her problems with hoarding. We're coming here as the family together, really just to help you guys further understand that there are some demons in your mom's life that we believe may have contributed to the, the clutter, the hoard, the depression, and we really want to try to address that. Kim, what would you like to say? Um, things have happened that um, I would say probably had a bit of big impact. I was happy to see that Kim was at least willing to sit down with her children and say that there was something in her past. I don't know, I think that's all I have to say. I believe in time that Kim will get to that place and reveal exactly what that trauma was. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to find you on your feet this morning. Yes. I feel a lot better today. I feel kind of normal. We're ready to start the final day and guess where we find Kim? Are you ready for this? Yes. In the kitchen, ready to go. Total relief. This will be a much different day, I think. Well, let's get it over Okay, with. okay. Okay. Oh what is that down there? It looks like feathers. Ooh, I don't know. That is pure ammonia. That don't smell. Yeah. Make my eyes water up. I just stop it. That was an ear of corn. Yeah, it was corn. We thought it was a crow. For once, seeing my mom wanting to get something done, it was great. Are we done? Yeah. What do you think of this? I like it. I could handle walking into this every day. Oh, I got a mattress. <laughs> oh, nice. Very pleasant shock that there was a bed in there. <laughs> you can yeah. now put the heat on, <laughs> yep. not have to hug it all night. Nope, I'll be able to sleep good. Oh, it's clean. The kitchen looked clean enough to eat off the floor. Oh, it's all clean. clean. <laughs> but still wouldn't want to do it. All right, so what do you think? A house that you can have family over? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I could actually come over and, you know, sit down and, you know, be able to have dinner. Just so happy that it's clean. Oh. <laughs> it's like my mom gets to live in a clean house now. <laughs> Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click.
the links around me to watch more.